you. So yeah. getting to my next topic, um, I want to talk about this phenomenon that's been happening with these passport bros <laughs> and this divestor movement that's been going on. I don't know if y'all familiar with that whole situation. Yeah, explain it more. I think um, right now there's, there's um, these passport bros, right? It's, it's a YouTube thing. You can TikTok it. But what happened is men in America seem to be frustrated with the quality of women that they're getting in America. So they're like, you know what? Damn, I wonder why that is. They're like, you know what? Let me go me outside of America to find you know more suitable women to be wives. And then on the other end, on the other um, spectrum, we have the divestor movement, which is primarily black women who seems to either have given up on black men and <laughs> primarily want to date mostly white men. But it's not it's not black men, but they pretty much are trying to go after white men. Mm. But they, you know, they're expressing their frustrations with black men. So now they're like, yeah. all right, whatever. So, I mean, what do you think about those two communities? And, you know, what's your thoughts on that? I think that? they both sound dumb. What did you say? <laughs> I said I think they both sound dumb. Why do you think that? Because I have, I know people in London and they go through the same shit people out here go through <laughs> with the girls and the boys. So it's like, mm. I don't know why you would think the, women, the women in America. The women in London is, is masculine too? <laughs> I'm gonna let you know. Passport they, they bros ain't flying women? from the U.S. to go to London. Yeah, they, not, they take they're going. Where is it? They they're going. Like they're Dior, going. Columbia, yeah, they are Africa. Columbia. Africa. Don't leave, don't yeah. shout oh, to yeah, Africa, Africa, man. Don't leave yeah. Africa. The women that want to come here. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. No shame. Yeah. They <laughs> arrange thing. <laughs> Not a not arranged. Arranged. It's, it's going to be arranged when we it's get over It's the yes woman. It's the yes woman. Okay. It's not the yes woman. Oh, my God. Because she it's needs the, you so much. It's the feminine so woman. It's the like, feminine woman. The feminine woman that value family. They it's going the yes women that are going to But you can find anything. that here. How can you but say that's not in America? Women, women are not how can we find it. women that value family when women are wanting to be, they want to go out and chase their careers. They're not even, they want to go I'm on sorry, vacation. That's wrong. That's wrong. That is not wrong. I want to. I want a family, but I also want to be like a VP of a company. Like, what's wrong with that? Like, what's what's the problem? You can what's more important to you? Family, of course, but like, I also wish to be very successful mm. with my husband, who's gonna also be very successful, and we're gonna mm. raise our yes. children, and they're gonna have two black, very <laughs> successful ass parents, and we are gonna live a happy family life. I'm gonna handle my career first because yes. I need my career in order to support for my family because until like I have all that, I need to be comfortable with my family. What what, fam oh. what, what family though? Like, Because I think what happens is, and we have women on the show who actually regret pursuing a career because by the time they pursue their career, now they're 35, 35 plus, and now they regret the fact that they can't find those super mm -hmm. men or those men that they once wanted. Those men want younger women, more fertile women, more beautiful women. And what happens is women are chasing their careers and then they become older, less fertile and things mm -hmm. of that nature. So what happens is men are going feeling like, okay, well, the first words out your mouth is I want to pursue a career. Okay, well, that's fine. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go and find so a woman. So you going to go to DR? And some, a woman that values family and, <laughs> and femininity. Like, you know but these I mean? are the like, same men that expect to go 50-50 on rent. That's where I'm confused. Like, yeah, it's, it's like, so, that's confused. where I'm confused. It's like, the conversations are very contradicting because <laughs> yes. it's like, you want a woman to, you don't feel that you need to take care of a woman, but you also don't want yes. the woman to have her own career like it's very contradicting you see what you i mean you started the convo talking about you just don't want you don't just want pussy whatever whatever we don't so you're gonna go to dr okay. she can't work if you bring her out here no but she's gonna just suck your dick and cook for you oh, i'm no. gonna do that too oh no yeah. i'm confused no first of all modern women ain't doing that y'all cooking in the microwave and y'all barely sucking dick good enough uh-uh i'm not putting your neck into it i'm gonna keep it real with y'all you're not putting your neck into it I think the one you talking to, the number of women what? that you have came across, might be the problem. Yeah, I just don't think, just don't think everybody. Right. I think. I, I feel like she gonna I suck you for that green card and go to someone and else. Look, she also gonna be pleasant. She also gonna be wonderful. Okay, she gonna go to somebody else. else. Speak English. Look, she don't she, like you. See. She just want to come here. Listen, There's no Watch right. 90 Look, Day I'm Fiance. Not, I'm not with the passport, bro. <laughs> I, I feel like I'm, I'm happy with the women I have here. You know, whatever the case may be, <laughs> right? But I do, un I do understand why most men want to be no, going it's away bullshit. because modern women are not raised to be wives nowadays. They're raised to be independent uh, and doing shit on their own. Women want to be wives. Right. No. We have women on this, plenty of women on we, the show said they don't want to be a wife. I, I, well, I, I, we we really, interviewed hundreds of women. All the way here talking about where's my husband. Like, literally. We 
were talking you're about love. two women to the hundreds of women okay no i hear you show. like you know so i think when we have these conversations we tend to look at the majority it's easy to come and say we're around a lot of women that want to be wives majority yeah. women we know want to be wives you know what i've I don't... heard though a lot of people are scared a lot of women are scared to get into marriages because of like the shit that comes with it like, i think men feel yeah. Yeah. No, okay. men. i think men, men are very scared of exactly. that commitment I, more than women only in america they're scared because a lot of these, these other countries they go on to get married yeah, they well got that's different Though in a lot of countries they get married younger, they we got multiple wives. You have multiple wives. See, and that's how y'all think. Sad. Oh, Jesus. Niggas in my apologies. Like, you know what I'm saying? Multiple countries. So, like, again, I'm not really an advocate for. You know, passport bros, like, I love black women. I'm a fine, I'm a married black woman. Period. Um, 100%. You know, whether she in America or Africa, like, you know. Mm-hmm. Both here. Caribbean. Caribbean. <laughs> she gonna be black regardless of what mm-hmm. But um, okay. I can understand where the frustration on the women's side and on the men's side resides with ne- them not find, finding to them quality, you know, partners mm-hmm. and then wanting to explore their options elsewhere. Like, you know what I mean? Like, Absolutely. so, um, you know, when I... When, but I think it's a little different when we talk about the divestment movement. Yeah, because I don't see the how divestment to... because mm-hmm. I, I look at them more as a, a hate group than anything. Those are the I think the black women that the black women that the black women that the biracial relationships are looking. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I, I look at that more as a hate. Group I understand only that because I'm of sorry. the rhetoric that they speak. Like you know, what I, I feel do like. Understand. I do not disagree with that movement because, like, listen to what y'all have just been saying this whole entire time about your perspective okay. on, like, black women and how black women can't be can't be dominant. Black women have to be, like, I feel like... We never say y'all can't be strong, independent, none of that stuff. We just said in a relationship, it has you have to have some compromises. But I feel like... The black women that are in that movement are so tired of that. And they're like, all right, well, let me try somewhere else because yes. clearly I'm not appreciated. Like, I agree. Who I, I think- am, who I am is not appreciated yes. amongst the men that I want to be with. So mm-hmm. I can't. So in order for me to But y'all find- following the same. No, it's like, it's like hold on, hold on, black ask, women ask, want ask. their black women want their love story, too. Like black women want their fairy tale, too. But black women now don't feel like they can get that with black men I agree. because of the rhetoric that black women. I mean, black men have against black women. Yes. We See, always got the, attitudes. The issue, we, it's always the something. The issue is y'all are going, and this is the only issue I have with that community. Number one, when I hear the Cynthia G's and she says, "Hey, yo," I heard her say, "We should abort a black male fetuses." Like you know oh, what I'm that's saying? Crazy. That's, that's, that's crazy. That's crazy. And there's women that's in the crazy. comments that's crazy. agreeing with that. So when, I, I like I said, when I talk about men. divestment, it's usually on the extreme. It's like, damn, they want to ex- exterminate all black men, mm-hmm. which is crazy to me. So, but the issue I have with that is like, we all know white men are the most desired. Group, uh, ethnic group of men in this country, right? To who? White white men are the most. Let's let's be honest. With every other ethnic group, white men oh, are the most you know desired ethnic group, right? Uh, even the da- even the data apps have shown and proved this, right? Oh, so I just don't what happens I is black women it. understand that they have to compete <laughs> for that white man because if you guys can't even show y'all black men this type of submission and cooperation, the white men that are desired by the Asian women, the Hispanic women, every other ethnic group of women, okay. y'all gotta compete for those white men. And but y'all have no problem competing for those white men. But when it comes to black men, y'all feel like we should just kiss our ass and accept all the bad behavior and everything. I've heard what black women say that they had to tone down their blackness in order to be with a white man. That no, to no, me I, is, and that I to me is crazy. That. But white men fetishize black women the way that black men fetishize Spanish women. Or and I wasn't even going to be oh, specific, but, sorry. but the yeah. way that the way that <laughs> white men fetishize black women is the that's, way that black men fetishize, fetishize every other group of women other than black women. That's not in bulk. And, we, and, and then, first of all, black women have a problem when black men fetishize because we saying, oh, we only value them for their bodies and this that. So y'all want to be valued for your bodies? No, no, no. So hey, when, when somebody that's fetishizes, not true. That's they not don't true. only be the bodies. They like the hair and mm. all that other stuff. They so, think but that when their we kids do it, are going to be like when black mixed, men do it to mixed, other ethnic then, then it's an issue because y'all saying we fetishize those Hispanic women and this, that, and third. But when white men do it to black women, There's which is rare because not them. it's not enough information. He's seen me as a queen. Yeah, it's not enough information Who's and data out there though? to show that white men in masks are going and running after black women. There's not enough data. They just got so, a little jungle fever. There's nothing wrong with that. Some of them, not all of and them. I don't like, like that. I think it's weird. Y'all got no problem dating Billy that riding a city bike in Williamsburg, but when it's a black man, he got to have a BMW. Come exactly. on, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? 
we yo matter of fact we, were, we had a, <laughs> we had a podcast where a black woman said that she had um a higher standard for black men than she did for white men but you black know? men have this that's the same no but what i'm men. saying is if the bar is black. lower for these other ethnic groups of men right the entry of the entry of, of of black women is lower for these ethnic groups of other men. Why is it so high for black men when y'all don't have that same bar for we these white men? We are both the problem. Wait, I wait, literally wait, said that's right. right. That's, wait, that's you, who you think that black men have a higher bar for black women? Than I literally said that yes, 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 y'all yes, 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 really do. We are both the problem. Yes, we are both yes, the problem. You just hold y'all to a standard and y'all upset that we And we just hold y'all to a standard. But the problem is that y'all don't have that same standards for other group of men. But y'all don't have that same no, no, listen. The problem mm-hmm. black men's standard is femininity. Yeah, that, that's across the board. A a the reason that wait, 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 wait. the reason that we try to date outside oh not we, but men are trying to <laughs> like, so, certain, <laughs> certain black men are trying to date outside the race because they're looking for femininity. That's across the board. The reason that Black women are dating outside the race is not because they're looking for masculinity. That's in the black community. And I think y'all looking for other things with wealth and money. Yeah, that, that's that's materialistic <laughs> I think, shit. I think when we're talking about the passport, bros, the thing is, like, if you actually like, if you, like, when you pay attention to the passport, bros, like, they're getting women from like the DR, Colombia, yes. uh, the Philippines, Thailand, mm-hmm. like oh. women can that can speak very little English, women that don't have it, education, not, women that, that need missing, them, women, that, that, women that need women them. Women are raised to be wives. Mm-hmm. They learn in everything the, from, communities, from yeah. birth, damn near, from I their father, like from their mother, <laughs> how to be a wife and how to support your men. Women that need them. That's it. And that's the issue. Women that that's need the them. Issue. It's not even women that's that we, need them, it's women that treat them with respect. So we don't. Y'all know y'all don't. Stop, <laughs> like, stop yourself. Y'all y'all that's don't. not true. You say y'all who you speaking to. <laughs> so yeah, right, the majority of black saying. women do not have that's respect not true. for black men. Do the we majority of black women? Look at that white girl. Look at that white girl that just killed her black boyfriend. Period. Right. Period. Well, yeah, I know, I'm of, sure she was I, sucking his dick and saying yes. Um, what's the old girl in Massachusetts that was dating that man on Tinder? There's a lot of white men killing black men, black women on these dating apps. That wouldn't be me because I am. And y'all still want to hold these high... Who's pe- y'all? Black women still want to put these... <laughs> and, and don't say y'all because when you speak about black men, you don't never say something. So don't, don't <laughs> go in there, y'all. I'm not so, dating and, no white men. So what I'm saying is when these white men are going on these dating apps because black women are so fetishizing white men and they, un- they're they unaliving y'all and y'all find up missing, y'all sweep them... The media sweeps that shit right under the rug. Mm-hmm. And y'all still look at these white men, even though white men in society have a history of colonization, terrorism... Um, fucking domestic violence. Yeah, white so men you're have right. a history of this, but black women are still going out their way to be with Ooh, white men, which is crazy. Man, I'm no. to I feel like this. if I did a white man, if I if I did a white man, he would have to be racist. Nah, I can't do it. If I did a white man, he would have to be racist. He couldn't be American. If I did a white man, he could not be American. He would have to be from Europe. That's even worse. So what's the difference between a black man saying Europe is worse? I would. She would have to be from Africa. Caribbean. Racist. They family gonna look at you up and down. You said Dominicans are racist. Yes. Why you said that? What are you? They burning Haitians right now. Like, oh, what? Sure, like, right. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Dominicans are they, racist. They, they a lot of Spanish. Dominicans. My father's yeah, Hispanic, and he, his mother looked at my mother like, hell no. <laughs> like, please. It's racism all over. Everywhere. Like, I agree. That's why I'd rather deal with my own. I mean that's fair. Like, you know I, I mean, mean, I respect that. Y'all saying y'all, y'all, y'all. I feel like I can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's that bust a rhyme. I don't want no white man. I feel like bust a rhyme on it. We just speaking Thank on the majority, you, man. Yeah, we not, so we not I, asking I, yeah, yeah, we we just speaking on our experiences because, like I said, we have these conversations with women, and we're not saying that it's a hundred percent facts, but the majority of women that we have spoken to have said we just had a live. And stream. they are fools. We literally just had a live stream <laughs> yesterday with a black woman who said that she ha- she has two baby fathers. I believe so. Two yeah, baby fathers, so. one was Hispanic and one was white. Mm-hmm. And she said she preferred them because they were white and she didn't want to have a dark, a darker child. See, those are people with insecurities. Yeah, that's yeah, 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 insecurities. There's, there's black men like that too. You yeah, no, and there are. No, I understand that. Let's but talk what I'm saying is there's a fetishization that's going on. Not fetishize, you got inner issues. That's the problem. You have a problem with being black. Deep seated issues. So you think dark skin men? You think dark skin men? And also, we had multiple women on that same thing saying it was coming from their mothers. 
saying, don't bring me no nappy headed grandbaby. But that's, oh, so, that's, that's, that's my issue. That's, that's what we're saying. saying. Every, I think like, you don't love yourself. Yeah, it's that is a different. It's issue. overall a deep seated yeah. and deep rooted issue. And that's what I was gonna say. A lot of different races look at black people as an accessory. So that's another thing where people should be careful because you're dating a different race and they literally look at you like, oh, I have this black man. I have this black woman. And that's where it's like, yeah, I would never. Yeah, I would never. I, would. Yeah, I, I remember a white man, a white man came up to me and was like, oh my God, your teddy bear nose. And I was like, no oh, way. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, it's no. It's a compliment when they do. Teddy bear what are you talking about? Who said it was a compliment? No, I was just like, oh no. No, not, not you. Not yeah. you no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no. They look at us like an experiment. I, I oh, yeah. you get your hair like, like who wants to date like that? Yeah, but can I say someone like that? Before we get off this topic, I do want to say that when white men compliment black women on their natural beauty, it's oh he values me. True. But when black men do no. it, no, listen, listen, oh. hear me out. But when black Lay your men say natural hair, say natural hair. Because oh, he want to laugh come. at it. Nah. What? <laughs> what the fuck? Like, yeah, yeah. Some black I'm women. I'm talking about the white like, men. Let me rephrase that. Oh. Some black women <laughs> will look at a compliment from a white man as more valuable than a compliment from black men. And no. That's just the fact. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, I can't. I you know, value it you got to bring girls that like white men on this because it's like. I disagree with everything hey, you hey, say. You know, Yo, bring that line of text on the show, man. We need that. <laughs> I mean, I'm, never I, had I'm, a not say I like, I'm not gonna say I like white men, but I would, would I be have, opposed to dating yeah. a white man? No. But look, I, would, I wouldn't I, be opposed I, to that. I love me as a black man. I would say I would never date a white woman, and that's ever. beautiful. And I love that. I love, to, I love that for you. But my yeah. stance yeah. comes from love that being tired of black men shit. I'm tired of, I, I be tired of some black women too. Like, that don't mean I'm just going to go You're not that tired. Woman, like, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, I am tired, but I'm not, I'm not giving up on black women. That's yeah. my issue. And I'm damn sure not settling yeah. for a Becky just because she a Becky. Like, you know and what I'm saying? And I love like, that. Yeah. I love that Me for you. Too. Stand on that. I love I that care. for you. But I will look, take look, a white... we sassy. We sassy because <laughs> we defending black women now Who's too. Who's sassy? We sassy. Well, no sassy. Put the Uzi back on. Put the Uzi back on. No one, no one called you sassy at all. Yeah, we got to put that in the video. I'm just saying, I will take a white boy with a little razzle dazzle. Like, I Dazzle, dazzle. I like, couldn't. Oh, he, he got, got a little black. Y'all, y'all love the white boys that act like they you black. Like, no, because that's like, uncomfortable. I, I got a little spunk, you know. Uh, so, so y'all not saying uh, we we just spoke how we would still fight and be with black women. You you think you guys were sincere when we approached you guys on that on that sentiment right there? Like I actually was, believed y'all. No, I'm saying was your rebuttal sarcastic? No. We were no, dead ass. We were dead ass. Because no, we I'm were dead so ass. happy for I'm you. Dead ass. No, we no, were, no, we were dead, dead ass. ass. Because, because, because I know black men that really just... And I think sometimes it is yeah. like <laughs> geographical. I feel like, you know, where we grew up, that's not the yeah. case. And I feel like hearing black men saying they're never giving up on black women, it's that's beautiful. beautiful because that is we're, beautiful. That's not something that... Where you grew up? We are. We live in North we, Jersey. Yeah, we live in Montclair. Oh. We're from Montclair. Very okay. diverse. So it's very different. Very the vibes di- are very different. Yeah. So we're used to seeing a lot of black Biracial men couples. in relationships with white girls, and we've been seeing that since we were in like middle school. So it's, we're just like, damn, like yeah. we're we're always going to be on the chopping block. So it's very different. So we do when we hear stuff like that. It's like, oh my That's god, really like, like. All right, real quick before Eli switch. Yo, put a one in the chat if y'all think they was being sarcastic. Put a one in the motherfucking chat. 